The big change for the 2017 Volkswagen Eagle Golf is an increase in range. It now has an EPA certified range of 126 miles, a big step up from the 83 mile range of the 2016 model. This new range gives it a distinct advantage over competitors like the Kia Soul Leaf 93 miles and Nissan Leaf 107 miles with an optional battery, and a slight advantage over Hyundai's upcoming unique electric 124 miles, though it still falls short of the 238 mile Chevrolet Bolt. With electric vehicles, real range varies on driving conditions. Slow traffic and moderate temperatures help it while high speeds and extreme heat or cold hurts it. We test drove the 2017 Eagle off on a warm day in Southern California, and even with the air conditioning running and aided by stop and go traffic, our Eagle was on track to run well over 140 miles on a battery charge. You'd expect a bigger range to come courtesy of a bigger battery, but in fact the E-Golf's lithium-ion battery, from a hardware perspective, is unchanged. Instead, Volkswagen made changes to the energy management system that controls the battery, upping its capacity from 24.2 kilowatts per hour kilowatt hours to 35.8 kilowatts per hour. The range increase comes despite the fitting of a more powerful motor of 1. 100 kilowatts 134 HP motor that replaces the old 85 kilowatts 115 HP unit. Volkswagen says the new e-golf is quick 0, 60 in 9.6 seconds, though they don't have an official figure for the 2015-2016 models, though top speed decreases slightly, from 87 miles per hour to 85 miles per hour. For 2017, all e-golfs get a 7.2 kW on board charger, as opposed to the 6.6 .6 kW unit found in the old e-golf and many of its competitors. The higher capacity charger provides charge times of 6 hours or less using a 240 volt level 2 charger. DC fast charging, which can juice an empty battery to 80% capacity in less than an hour is standard in all but the base model e-Golf. Volkswagen plans some updates to the styling of the Golf, and the e-Golf is the first version to show off the changes. Their subtle the bumpers, front fenders, headlights and grille are new, as is the seat fabric. Top of the line cell premium models get a digital dashboard, along with adaptive cruise control, automatic braking, and automatic high beams. Volkswagen previously offered the e-Golf in two models, and sell premium. For 2017, there's a third option, called the limited edition. It fits between the two other models, and adds Vitex imitation leather upholstery, parking assistance, an auxiliary heat pump, and, most importantly, the ability to use DC fast chargers. What we like best about the e-Golf is that it's so easy to forget you were driving an electric car. Once you get over the novelty especially the smooth, silent rush of acceleration, the e-Golf begins to feel like like any other family vehicle, and the underfloor battery pack has a negligible effect on interior space. If you want to show the world how green you are, you're probably better off with something showy like a Tesla or a BMW i3. But if you want a car that is both eco-friendly and practical, the e-Golf is the way to go. With running costs so much lower than gasoline cars, it's easy to forget that some electric cars are more efficient than others. The EPA rates the energy usage of electric cars by MPG miles per gallon equivalent, and the e-Golf is pretty efficient its combined city highway figure is 119 MPG up from 116 MPG in last year's e-Golf. That's a pretty good number better than the Kia Soul Electric 105 MPG, Fiat 500 E 112 MPG, 
This in Leaf 112 MPG and the Tesla Model S95. 1104 MPG and Model X86. 93 MPG. Though it still trails the BMW i3 124 MPG and Hyundai Unique Electric 136 MPG.